In the previous video, we talked about creating custom quotation templates inside of Configurator 360. Now let's talk about defining custom drawing templates so that we can provide sales or technical drawings as needed. Inside Inventor, you can see we've created a drawing template with various views, dimensions, and notes. The template can include detailed information, or it can include just high-level information as you would find in a sales drawing. Rules using iLogic can also be used to hide and show certain dimensions or rescale views based on the overall size of the assembly. Note the geometry and dimensions changing as we modify the model parameters. Let's go ahead and upload the drawing and models to Configurator 360. And let's make a couple of configurations to compare the drawing output. Notice that if I make changes to the model, my drawing output updates to reflect the new options I've chosen. In the second drawing, you can see how the drawing views scaled down to accommodate the large geometry, how the dimensions for raised kettles were added, and how the parts list updated to show the casters were being removed. In addition, you can enable several different drawing formats for your customers to download from Configurator 360, including DXF or PDF formats. This allows your customer to choose the best format for their use. Be sure to watch the next video on how to create and track requests for quotes using the built-in Configurator 360 workflow.